Welcome to Flash Tutorial Request 36 Moving Jigsaw Puzz. Starting a new FLA and I'm keeping the factory set defaults. Action Script 3. If you have any questions or comments, you can contact me at flashthingy at hotmail.com. This is similar to a group of tutorials I made on jigsaw puzzles. The difference is with this puzzle, as you connect pieces, the connected pieces become movable. So I'm going to start by la this layer, call it P-I-E-C-E, -E, piece one. I'm going to make a piece two. And a piece three layer. And an action script layer. I'm going to put piece one on top of the pieces and piece two there. You must be able to use the drawing tools to do this tutorial. I'm making sure all the layers are locked. I'm unlocking the piece one layer, selecting frame one, setting the stage to fit the window, and I'm going to draw here, I'm going to paste it in, but I'm going to draw here a circle. Going to lock that, unlock the piece two layer, select frame one, and I'm going to draw something that looks like a body. Very crude looking body. Unlock the piece three layer, select frame one, and draw something that looks like a pair of legs. Lock all layers. Now one at a time, I'm going to turn these into movie clips. I'll do the first one for you, then you can do the other two on your own. Unlock this piece one layer, select frame one, highlight the ball, modify, convert it to a symbol, make sure a movie clip is selected, and call it piece one, underscore MC. Copy that name. It's still selected and highlighted. Open the properties panel. I know it's highlighted because it says right here. And paste in that instance name. Now, do the other two, piece two and piece three, and I'll get back to you. I have my three movie clips made. Now I'm going to write some action script to allow me to click and drag these around. Select frame one of the actions layer, open the actions panel, and type in this code. Type, 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 type. And let's look at this. Stage, period, add event listener. Small s, small a, capital E, capital L, that'll turn blue. Open bracket, event, capital E, period, and this enter underscore frame is all capital letters. That's all blue. Comma, and I'm calling this ent frame. E-N-T-F-R-A-M-E, -E, capital E, capital F, close bracket, semicolon. And this is calling that function. Function, F-U-N-C-T-I-O-N, -N, turns purple. Copy ent frame, paste it in. Open bracket, E colon event, capital E-V-E-N-T, Close bracket, colon, void. Void turns the same color as function. And then I put an open curly bracket. And way down the bottom, eventually there's going to be a closed curly bracket for that function. And I got two forward slashes, and I'm talking about piece one. And it's piece one, click, C-L-I-C-K, click, D-R-A-G, drag, and drop D R O P click drag and drop for piece one and let's look how that's done piece one underscore MC that's the circle we made period add event listener small a capital E capital L all turns blue open bracket it's a mouse event capital M capital E period 
mouse underscore down all capital letters comma and we're calling this drag piece one drag capital D P one drag P one close bracket semicolon and here's that drag function F U N C T I O N copy drag P one paste it in open bracket event E V E N T colon mouse event capital M capital E that's all blue here close bracket colon void there's the open curly bracket for this function there's the close curly bracket and all we say is piece one underscore MC period start drag small s capital D that should turn blue open close bracket semicolon and again here's my close curly bracket for this function that allows us to drag it now this is the stop drag part stage period add event listener and if you look up here you could copy some of this but it's you may as well just write it from scratch stage period add event listener small s small a capital E capital L all turns blue open bracket mouse event capital M capital E period mouse underscore up all capital letters comma drop P1 capital D capital P close bracket semicolon function copy this drop P1 paste it in open bracket event E V E N T colon mouse event capital M capital E close bracket colon void there's the open curly bracket for this function there's the close curly bracket and between them piece one underscore MC period stop drag small s capital D all turns blue open close bracket semicolon and I believe we should also at the end here put another closed curly bracket for the for the original stage event listener and I'm going to just check to see if there's any obvious faults. Syntax area extra character found in the program. Well, probably shouldn't have put that one in. Oh, I put two in by mistake. There we go. There. So at the end of the program, there should be only two, not three. And you probably did that right. So now let's just test this out and we should be able to drag that piece one around the board click on it drag leave it go these ones do nothing yet I'm back on the action panel start here where it says forward forward stroke and go right down and copy it all but the last close curly bracket right click copy this click there put a couple enters so we're going to paste it between these two curly brackets and paste go up to here this will be piece two so everywhere you see a piece one like here change that to a two Change that to a 2, change that to a 2, 2, 2, 2, and 2. You still have the copy. So again, come here at the end of that one, a couple enters, paste again. This time, where you see a 1, change it to a 3. I'll do that and get back. I had to go back and change this right here under my piece 2 click drag and drop. I missed this one. And when I tried it out, I had an error and I came back and fixed it. You probably picked that up. I have my three pieces done. So now I'm just going to test this out. This one click drag click drag very good 
Now we're going to put targets on our individual movie clips. So open your library panel, select piece one movie clip, call this CIR as in circle, lock it, insert a layer, call this TAR1 as in target for piece one, pick up your rectangle tool, it doesn't matter what stroke you have, and you can have any fill as long as you can see it. And let's make this a couple hundred percent. And right there, close to the bottom, make a little target. There it is. The size of this target is going to be how close you need to be to the, to the pieces for them to lock in. So I'm going to make that a little bigger so it locks in a bit quicker. There. Go up to pick your selection tool. Highlight that target make sure the circle layer is locked so I'm just highlighting that little target modify convert it to a symbol and call it TAR1 underscore MC copy that make sure movie clip was selected okay open your your properties panel and paste in this instance name lock that layer open up piece 3 do the same for piece 3 but put the target up here I'll do that and get back to you alright I did my piece 3 movie clip and I added this target and gave it an instance name make sure you do that then I opened up my piece 2 which is the body and here I put two targets I put one up top here which I called target 2a underscore MC and I put one down here which I call tar 2b underscore MC gonna lock these layers now I'm gonna go back to scene one open my actions panel and down the very bottom there's two curly brackets I'm gonna get between those a couple of enters and I'm gonna type in the code for when the head hits the body. Type, 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 type. And it says, if IF turns purple, open bracket, piece one underscore MC period, tar one underscore MC period. So that's the target one that we made inside this piece one movie clip. Hit test object small h capital T capital O turns blue if it's spelt right open bracket so if the top hits the target on the body so open bracket piece 2 underscore MC period tar capital T A R 2 capital A that's the target that's on top of the body underscore MC close bracket close bracket if that happens open curly bracket then trace T R A C E turns blue. Open bracket quotation hid hits body. This is just a message we're going to give ourselves. Close quotation that will turn green. Close bracket semicolon, and there is the closed curly bracket for this if statement. So again, we should have. We have to move this to see it. Two curly brackets at the end. Now let's test this out. No errors, so if I move this and touch that, I traced hit hits body. I'm back to the action script. So now let's see what would happen if the piece three hits the hits the target on piece two. So let's take this from here up to here. Right click, let's copy this. Put a couple enters, paste it. So up here, we're going to say if piece two, change that to a two, movie clip MC period tar two B, that's the lower part of the body. Okay, you see what I did there? hits piece three and this would be just tar three 
then we want to say legs hit body. So let's try this one out. Well, let's just see if any ears first of all. No ears, no obvious ones. Let's, let's test this one out. This is the legs hit it. And that works. Very good. I think that's a good place to stop for now. There will be a follow-up for sure. It'll be Flash Tutorial Request 37, Moving Jigsaw Puzz 2. Save this FLA if you plan on doing that second part. I hope you learned something from this tutorial, and I hope you use what you learned.